want you to hate yourself from the top of your head. Go down to the description box right now to hear more Malcolm, Les Martin, my man Rez featuring Conway the Machine in its entirety in the description box right now exclusively on iTunes. Don't wait, hit the button right now. Let's go. You know, Ogla, that's a great thing to say, man. Forty is so important. If you got a friend that you think is, you know what I mean? If we dope, you think somebody will enjoy the content, shoot them the easy text, man. It's that so little thing goes so far. For the support, man, we can't tell you how far it goes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, let's get started. Yeah, we gonna jump right into this. We gonna start with Lupe, Lupe, man, who's been one of my, you know, um, favorite artists. You know, I like him, but he's kind of always under the radar. Mm -hmm. Kind of almost reminds me of like a Wale type dude. You know, what I mean, um, real smart, but kind of just wants to stay where he is. But he put out a statement today that's causing a lot of, you know, what I mean, um, dissension right now in the industry. Pretty much saying that. Calling out Atlanta Records, saying that they have you know wanted him to use some ghostwriters. I'm gonna play a clip that he put up on Instagram today. We're gonna talk about this, Sam. Man, here we go. Let's, let's, do, let's do it. They hit this wall where it's like we don't want what you really bring in. We want and Atlantic's so filthy with the shit is that they would turn around and have a team of writers, a team of producers waiting for you. So once you go through the meeting, they strip away all your esteem, they strip away all your confidence and your own work. They send you right to the studio with this the produce the hot producer at a time with the creative team and the writers and they got whole songs waiting on you. And for some niggas, they even got their raps waiting on you. You wouldn't believe the phone calls I got in the middle of the night from niggas talking about, man, won't you come in to the studio? But let me write all your shit. I mean, I wouldn't want to get that to you, right? As a critic or whatever, like often had this dope ass song. It's gonna be huge. Just gonna be all over the radio. I'm often to sell a bunch of records. The video finna be crazy, but I ain't had shit to do with it. All right, so that's Lupe yeah. right there, you know, pretty much, you know, speaking about his experience with Atlantic Records. Yeah. And the wrong just, you know, it confirmed <laughs> with me just a lot, you know what I'm saying, um, about the industry and what I kind of already knew that it's almost like and, and it kind of it even feeds the you know the suspicion more about that a lot of this stuff now is an agenda behind the different music that comes out with the message and everything. But um, I don't know, man, you know, just crazy, crazy. Day. Not from him, but just to hear that it's like this, you know, when you look at it, it's just like structure it. All you got to do is come and perform, but we're going to keep all the royalties. You just come in. It's almost making it just like a job in this situation. But Sam, man, I want to know what you think about this uh, Lupe coming out, putting Atlantic Records on blast. Well, you see a lot of people that really enjoy them time, their time in the industry. I'm going to give you some, for example, maybe, I don't know if Lil Pump is signed, but like your Lil Pump, a 6'9", mm -hmm. or, or people like this who seek a lot of attention, so to speak, and they don't care about the music. They don't care about the art. They're just out here to claim fame. They they love the Instagram attention. They they love going on tour and going for fans and not really enjoying the art. They've all have been out here on record and saying that. Right. That's the new age and kind of where we're at. And then we have this other crop of artists who really love what they do, love their artistry, but then are put in a contract where they don't give a fuck about any of that. They love how you deliver. You can drop maybe one of your songs, two or three, that might fall into the rotation. But your main singles, the one we're going to pump out on the mm -hmm. radio, are going to be the ones that we want to, want to to perpetuate out there, the ones that we want to put out there, and the ones that we're going to get paid from, from production mm -hmm. to producing to writing to all of it. Yeah. So when you look at it at the end of the day, the only money that the artist gains from that song whatsoever is from touring. And if they're on the 360, they're even getting money taken out of that. So job is fucking worse. Yeah. And it's like when you look at, you know, when people say it was one point where you had this, you know, form of hip hop that you would call conscious. And then all of a sudden it came in with this niggerized form, gangster hip hop, even though it was the reality, this was being widespread promoted, you know, um, and, and you know, um, pushed out there, you know what I'm saying? Um, through the masses. So it just, it goes to show you that, when you hear rappers coming to the table and saying they want to do certain things and the record say you can't do this, you got to do this, it goes to show you that's more of an agenda than we really think it is. When we start hearing about the Molly, that is widespread, and then it starts popping up through the neighborhoods and people, all these rappers now are addicted to Percocets, Lean and all that, Offset talking about it. Every yeah. other week is a different rapper, you know, speaking about, you know what I mean, um, them being addicted. So it goes to show you that it's an agenda and a lot more of these guys, you know, especially ones that tie to the labels, are nothing more than just puppets and willing to do anything, you know, just for the dollar or say anything for the dollar. You know what I mean? So I have to definitely um, salute Lupe because what, it doesn't benefit him to point things 
like this out. It's, it only can hurt him, you know, in this type of world because you know they don't want you to expose the evil boogeyman. But see, what I would love to start seeing is a lot of these younger artists who care about their craft and care about their artistry to kind of look at these situations because we're in a great time now where a lot of people are starting to get hip and 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 starting to see and woke to the dumbass evil that is the music industry and they're starting to do their thing independently you see soundcloud and a number of rappers doing yeah. their thing on there you see just the social media you see youtube there's a number of ways for you to distribute your content and then you got independent uh ways for you to distribute that content and gain revenue it's like no other so years and years down the road the music industry i believe will be obsolete but it will always kind of have steam when you have these people who only care about the fame and don't care about the artistry. And when you have a team of writers, producers, and this, and they could just feed motherfucker something, you'll always be able to keep the lights on with the music industry. What I hope to see is people kind of start resonating toward the real and staying away from the fake, even though it might be pumped on us. And let's get make the music and, industry. And, and also, I just want I want to add this. You know, when you talk about, it's almost like they're gonna promote whatever's gonna make their money. It's all profit driven. Now, it wouldn't be beneficial. For them to um uplift people it'd be beneficial for them to dumb down people to have people committing petty crimes to people you know low-income people to continue to feed and fuel the prisons if more people the iq raises more people begin you know become smart to make better decisions then people don't go to jail people instead of picking up the drugs they start a business start an llc corporation mm -hmm. you know what i mean so it's just like it, it coincides man when you're talking about how hip-hop again you know um even though it was it was not always positive though it had a message in it and it now was just straight up just uh nigga shit. i mean a lot of it man it's with, with no substance it's man. watered down you right. don't understand what's going on it's very drug related drug pump drug culture it, it goes right toward just the wave and and where we're living in today's age man it's very weird but like i said on the opposite side of that for every good there's evil and every evil there's good mm -hmm. and there's a great crop of real music coming along and right. a lot of people getting very smart and, and understanding this business and doing it their way the right way and we had a great interview tuesday with our brother kansu who we're going to start having yeah. going every tuesday we've been talking about that and he talked about the music industry and how as an artist if you want to really start a successful career and it the do's and don'ts and the first things you need to do before you even think about even dropping a song mm -hmm. great content go check out that on itunes or on our platform on youtube because that was some great stuff for our brother Kansu. Yeah. But yeah, man, that was a great segment. Definitely, definitely. But you tuned into the Uncensored Truth podcast with your brother Old God and Sam Man over there from Viral Hip Hop News. If you're listening on YouTube, as always, I need you to do me just two favors. Go ahead and hit the like button and make sure that you share this one. Text this video to somebody. And um, that's all we ask y'all to do because it really, really does help, you know, get the message out. I want to jump. Speaking of rappers. I want to jump, you know, um, to this next door because this one is another one. And a lot of guys look at him and they, they call him this and that. But we're going to talk about this. It's Kodak Black. Okay. Kodak Black jumped on his Instagram and pretty much just compared himself to Tupac and Biggie. I'm just going to play what he said, saying, man, and we're going to have a little bit of fun with this one, man. Here's Kodak. I'm the hardest, young nigga. I'm the hardest rapper in the game. I promise. Like, when you talk about me, you should, like, you should put me in a category of, like, Paul, Big. Nas, them niggas, like, you feel me? Like, really listen to my shit. I don't care about how I act, like, on the ground. Like, you feel me? Fuck with the blog. Say, ask about me in the streets. Ask about me in the streets. I'm a real one. I'm a real one, and I spit that fire. And I'm out shit for real. And, I, and, and, and you feel me? All that good shit. But I see y'all sensitive as fuck, so they can't even, they can't even vibe how they want to vibe because <laughs> y'all sensitive, so I can't even be bugging out on the internet because y'all gonna think i'm crazy so yeah that's that's kodak man i kind of thought that was a shot at us a little bit that did one maybe because may, may we did a few videos you know on um you know kodak black but anyway you know maybe not you know um I, so we even be entertaining this sam man at all this conversation real talk kodak black tupac biggie is he anywhere near I th is he even better than wheezy then i knew you were gonna say that <laughs> and i think that's the conversation you're relating to let me say this before we go into that conversation because a lot of people will easily shun off Kodak Black and I really I really like this dude anytime he talks I listen because I'm gonna get humor but then I'm gonna understand yeah, yeah. because it's an ignorance in it but there's also a genius behind it and if you can break down and get through the ignorance and break down what he's really saying well, he's he saying, can make man. some sense what he's man. Yeah. it makes some sense now is he on the level of Tupac and Biggie no no not in my opinion yet now he does have a solid body of work his work and, and his albums, if you can get through the just listening. And